Hello everyone, my name is Bilores and I am back with a new video. Today I am going to show how you can get lots of melee XP using the Nightmare Zone. The requirements for this are the 3 Gnome Village Quest, Vampire Slayer, Lost City, Fight Arena, Grand Tree and 43 plus Prayer. Now you can rather choose for the cheaper and the more AFK method or expensiver method that grants more experience an hour. In this guide I will explain the second method, so if you are interested in the first method click the link in the description. The second method is the Derox method. Derox armor and weapon require 70 defense, attack and strength. Take the whole set. So don't forget even one single piece of the armor, if not, this will not work. Other than that, take an amulet of fury, and if you don't have that, take an amulet of glory. The best string is the berserk ring, and as a cape, take a fire cape, a skill cape or an obsidian cape. Take the best gloves that you can. How do I get there? You can rather use the Nightmare Zone Teleport in the minigame step, but you can also take the boat from Por Serem to Karamja, from Karamja to Por Kazar. Then run all the way south until you reach the minigame. Now for your inventory. Take your cash tag, also take a rock cake, if you don't know how to get those, watch the rock cake guide in the description. Some overloads and some prayer potions. You can purchase the overloads from a cover next to the minigame. You can only use those overloads in the minigame. But before you can get those you have to play a game. So for your first game ever, take an inventory with only money, your rock cake and prayer potion. You can also take some super combat potions if you want to but it's not recommended. For the future games also take your overload that you got from the previous game. How to play a game. First off you go to the game square over here and then you will see a Dominic scuffer over here. You use it and after that you will you have to use your bank pin and you will see how much coins you have in the coffer. You have to put over 6k in this coffer. I recommend ha putting around 60k in it because that equals uh, 10 games. After that be sure that you still have some money in your inventory. And you will have to look after a host. You will have to look after a demon host. So look what he's saying. Don't take the Guttons games. Don't take the Mountain Daughter games. No you have to take the demon games. You will have to look after one, sometimes they will scam, it doesn't happen a lot but it happens, for example this little one, Demon, Demon RS, it's a scammer so don't take that one. Um, and you will have to look after a legit host. For example over here I think 18k Demoner is a legit guy. So I'll have to trade him and he asks 18k as you guys can see. So you'll have to put 18k in his trade offer. You give him that and you accept. Be sure he can scam, I already said it, but most of the time those people don't scam. Because they will gain much more if they don't scam, so I don't see why they would. But sometimes it may take some time. Well, for example this one was a scammer. Well I'm just gonna take another one, this was a scammer, okay, it happens, there's like 3 scammers right now, what the fuck is happening? But yeah whatever, this guy asks 18k as well, I hope it's not a scammer because with this, making this guy I already lost a lot of money because yeah I'm just showing how it works and I don't fucking know why but right now there's a lot of scammers. After that you can say hard if you want but if you don't say anything they'll probably give you hard as well. And you wait. Okay, you wait, and after that he will give you a hard mode game. You accept for 6k, 
And now we will give you the game. We'll go to this empty vial over here. And you will have to accept again. After that, if you're gentle, you say thank you. And you go to the middle. You drink your overload. Be sure that you have full quick prayer. If you that you have full prayer points. If not, you drink a prayer potion. And after that, you pray for melee. Now you want to guzzle the dwarven rock cake. Be sure that you're not doing this while your overload is taking away your HP because this way I already died because it's taking multiple times. It will guzzle until you are at one HP. After that you be sure that you're uh, protecting from melee when uh, the monsters come in and you put it as 1 HP. And now you just wait, you can go a little AFK, be sure that you aren't AFK too long and drink your prayer potions when it's needed. When your uh, HP is back to a high level you drink your overload and then you do the dwarven rock cake thingy again. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did so, please leave a thumbs up. That's always appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe for more guides and more other videos. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye!